Hello my friends, welcome to an exciting episode in our Corridor Design series. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this flyer in Corridor. Of course, with simple steps like you've done in previous videos. If you're not subscribed to my channel now, is the right time to push the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you won't miss any of the videos I'll be dropping in time soon. Without having to waste time, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is click on File, click on New. I'm using the Corridor 2024. So I'm just going to type in here where you have the name. I'm just going to put um, Boga at Flyer and um, RGB 5x5 resolution stays by at 300. I'm using inches, please. And um, click OK. All right, great. So OK, now double click on this rectangle here to have a replica of this rectangle. You can see it doesn't have a color, so give it a white color first. And of course, we want to get rid of the outline. So click here, right click here to remove the outline. Then press P to send right back to your page like this. So the next thing you want to do at this point is um, go over to resource file. The these are available in the link in the description of this video. So go to the description and click on the link to get this resource files. So I'm just going to reduce the size. Type five by five here because it's too big. And so I get something like this. So even at this, I still have to reduce it. So I'm just going to reduce it like this. And um, boom. I think I'm okay with this size at this point. Go down shift and reduce it like this, this way. Okay. So um, having done that, go to the eyedropper to select a color from here. Make sure it's slightly lighter and apply it to the background. You have this yellowish thing going around right so um this is the color code right good so um i'm just going to hold down control while selecting the background and click on white six times to get this color right so it's not yellow and it's not white it's just in between because i mixed the colors okay so um i'm just going to bring this down i duplicated it ctrl c ctrl v so i'm just going to put this one here go to effect go to blow and um, i'm using gaussian blow for this so i'm just going to adjust my settings here like this and um, apply some blows to it Apparently this is not enough, so I'm just going to go up again and um, Okay, I think this is something I can work with so I'm using a 35.4 Close this up. We don't need that again So what you want to do with this one is Rotate it like this. I clicked again to bring out this transform. So rotate it this way instead, please not the other way around okay so the next thing you want to do is go over to your ellipse and um, let's select the two of them first and move them upward you can select the two of them and move them upward like this and I think I'll just leave it here next thing I'm going to do is go and select the ellipse that this is the ellipse and draw an ellipse like this I'm not holding down shift or control I'm just drawing like this fill it with the black color of course move the outline and use the eyedropper tool to select the color from this part here. It should be darker and apply it to the ellipse like this. Alright. Make sure you remove the outline. So what you want to do next is go over to transparency, click on fountain transparency, and click on elliptical fountain transparency, guys. Alright, so when you do that, go over to effects, go over to blow, and add some Gaussian blur to it. So you can use my settings also that I used here. So somewhere around this part is actually nice. So use my settings when you're done, close this up. So we have enough space to walk. So basically that's one of the things I like about Corel Draw. It gives you enough space to walk. And uh, sorry, that's the wrong thing. And I'm sorry if I'm not, um, my voice is not that loud. I just woke up to record this so you can have 
something to practice with or to work with all right so i'm just going to make this big like this and um i'm just going to rotate it this way not too much so we're not doing too much okay so um let's get on with this yeah great so go over to my rectangle to select my rectangle I'm going to draw a rectangle here like this alright just draw a basic rectangle not proportional kind of so I'm going to give you this red color while I remove the outline like this and um, I'm just going to draw now this is proportional all sides equal give it the red color move the outline what you want to do with this again is right click and convert it to curves go over to your shape to double click to add a node here one two delete this click on node here and delete it so you have this um, rotated triangle right like this so this is what I want to create so I'm going to extend this downward a bit like this right so with that selected select this also and um, go up you see i'm selecting top them now yeah you see so you're gonna go up here and click on weld like this okay so i welded the two of them together so it's now one shape so i can reduce this one size and um, let's see let me go ahead and um, apply some text with my typeface okay so right about now i'm just going to speed this up and um the fonts that i used also would also be inclusive in the resource file so get the font if you're a canva user of course you're familiar with this font so it's a common font but then i made it available for you in the resource file so i'm going to speed this up right about now so to save us time on this video okay so um, now that you had that out of the way um, select everything like this and uh, I'm just gonna move it slightly to no that's wrong um, slightly to the left like this just slightly to the left all right and uh, yeah somewhere around here is good good so it's just in the middle all right I'm trying to make this um, very very minimalistic so you don't have too many things going on in the background mm -hmm. so I'm just going to go over to the header I'd already typed this out already so with the fonts provided you can type this out also and make this this way All right great so um, you can see this is the name of the font all right so everything is intact just drag and drop inside that's why it's an svg file all right to move that in place i'm going over to my resource file again and i'm just going to go over and bring this emoji is it emoji or emoji so I'm just going to bring this five by five so i reduce the size like this I'm still going to make this smaller though, so I'm just going to hold on shift while I make this smaller, like this, make it smaller, like this, like this, and um, great, go over to effect and um, click on blow, click on Gaussian blow, right, so um, depending on the version of CorelDRAW you're using this might be different like i said before i'm using the CorelDRAW 2024 if you want to get this also click the link on the, in the description of the video to get this too All right so i'm just going to include increase the blur value like this and um somewhere around here i think is a sweet spot for me and um i'm going to duplicate this ctrl c ctrl v 
and rotate it like this from this part here and uh, rotate it downward like this okay so rotate it this way and place it here make it bigger and uh, then of course yeah you're good to go so we're just gonna undock um uh, close this up i mean All right so uh we're almost there just a few things to add to this design All right so with this one i think um i'm just gonna bring in the details here like this and basically of course i typed this out already yeah so to save us time on this video all right so this is all the details about this particular flyer all right so the next thing i want to do again is go over to my source file and bring in this image so i have other plans for this image i'm just going to drag and drop of course i'm going to go up here and type five by five because this is big or are we going to use three by three because it needs to be small so let me use one by one instead good okay so this is nice so i'm just going to move this and place it here um reduce the size like this and put it up here like this so you want to, what you want to do is go to effect go to blow and um of course apply some gaussian blur to it so by default i already have this but i'll just bump it up you can use my settings too and uh, i'm gonna close that up so go over to effect adjust and click on auto adjust you can see most times what you just need in your design is just using auto adjust and color draw takes care of the rest all right great so we have that that way so go to effects adjust auto adjust for this and boom it has been adjusted by color draw so you have it much more punchier go to rectangle draw a rectangle like this and uh, make sure it gets to the end so i'm just going to do it again draw a rectangle like this and give it a white color of course remove the outline so what you want to do is go to transparency and drag from white to black like this right so when you do this go to your selection to go to bitmap yeah bitmap here and convert to bitmap just like this and click ok so when you do this i'll do this to the other side just like i did the first one drag and um, get to this point so you have this go to bitmap convert to bitmap and click ok so you want to do this click again so it brings the transform command or the transform um, arrows right convert to bitmap again just for one last time and um, click on this first one and click on screen right so um, now click to bring out the transform arrows and just skew it this way and bring it down like this just like this fine and perfect so i can explore several options trying to use this and trying to create something out of this particular process or shape that i just used but then uh, okay this is too much so i'm going to delete that one but you can feel free to explore based on what you just created and um, of course curiosity helps you so go over to blow i'm just going to add some gaussian blow to that yep great good to go so you can use my settings for this also All right so i'm just going to um, increase it up like this and um, close this up when it's done okay so now that we're done and um, i'm just going to finally convert it to bitmap and that's all we do with that all right so i want to get rid of this part here i'm using my shape tool for this so that when you save at the end of the day it's you don't have some white out space outside 
and that's because some of the things are outside of your design page so I'm just gonna make this slightly bigger go over to effects blow and apply gush and blow to this I think I want to increase this all the way up because it's farther from the first one so of course perspective and view here matters a lot so um, I'm just going to go over to my ellipse draw a perfect ellipse use this color that I used in the first place and transparency elliptical fountain transparency right so what I want to do with this is click this I didn't change the blend mode or change blend mode to screen right so this is what I'm going to use for the lighting yes you guessed right so I'm just going to use this to light things up Ctrl C Ctrl V I'm going to move this here and use it for lighting here Ctrl C Ctrl V use it for lighting here also and um, just make sure you're not doing too much I don't know if this would work here uh, no 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 um okay so i'm just going to, i'm just going to move it up here let it stay here okay great um yes 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 you can see how much difference that actually makes to the design so i can now move this downward so it's not on top of the page like that all right guys this is how i created this amazing flyer inside of coral draw i'm just moving this down like this please whatever you do hit the like button so coral um youtube would refer this video to most persons that are going to need this video and please if you're new here don't forget to hit the subscribe button right and turn on post notifications so you miss any of the videos i'll be dropping anytime from now i'll see you in the next video